Say hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Jim Porter. Porter. How old are you? Good. How old are you? Are you one? Yeah. No. Are you three? Yeah. No. Come over here. Come sit with Mama. How old are you? Three. See, I'm two. I'm two. Two. Today is Mama's play day. Tuesday. Come here, let's do your video. Hey guys, I'm <laughs> coming at you from my messy playroom. Porter is stealing the show, which you know what? He can do that because he is the star of this video because this is all about Porter's two-year-old update. Okay, now he in typical two-year-old fashion, he is having a little meltdown because I wouldn't let him lick the camera. So hopefully I'm not coming in blurry. I don't think I am. <laughs> Porter, come sit with Mama. No. I'm just going to preface this. I am doing this video a little late. Um, Porter actually turned two back in September, and it is I November. need the back. It's actually November 15th. So he is two months into being two years old. I'm sorry I'm doing this video a little late, um, but it's he's still close enough. So I just wanted to make this video about Porter B2 and um, just his personality and Bye. what he's up to. Can you come sit on Mama's lap? No. So let's talk about Porter. I have his stats from his pediatrician appointment. Let me pull those up. Okay, I have them on my phone from the pediatrician. So his height, he... Back in September, he was 36 inches, making him in the 92nd percentile for height. So he is so tall. And then his weight, he is 26 pounds, 16 ounces, which puts him in the 37th percentile for weight. So yeah, as you can hear, Porter is super tall for his age, but he is a little skinny <laughs> for his age. Just makes him very gangly and all limbs. Sorry, this video is gonna be a little crazy because Porter is obsessed with the camera. <laughs> I thought I'd do it in the playroom so that he would be busy and like not pay attention to the camera, but obviously that's not really working. So I might have to just do this video a little later, <laughs> but I'll try and get through what I can. So anyway, yeah, so he had his two-year appointment. He's tall but skinny, which makes sense because he is in 2T clothes, but honestly, he's already like getting too tall for the 2T clothes. He is so tall for his age. That toy is driving me bonkers. Other than that, the pediatrician said he looked great, so he is on track with that. Let's talk about Porter. Porter is very much into the terrible twos. Um, two months in, he loves to say no. His favorite phrase right now is, no, I don't. Anytime we ask him to do something, no, I don't. He's very stubborn, very much wants to do his own thing, wants to control his life. It doesn't like it when other people control his life. Um, he hates getting dressed. He loves being naked. He loves bath time. Yeah. He loves pretending to swim. But if you put him in a real pool or um, any big body of water, he is terrified. He hates swimming. He hates even putting his feet in the water. We took him this past year to Florida and he would not get in the pool. Gray, his older brother, loved the pool, would always get in the pool. I never had any problem with it. Porter Hi. is terrified of swimming, just terrified of it. Even the little kiddie pool we have at our house, like terrified of it. So yeah, we're working on that. Mommy Swim knows. lessons when he gets older will be very interesting. Porter loves to eat peanut butter. He loves to eat pizza. He loves bananas. He loves, loves, loves yogurt. Could eat yogurt all day long. He loves donuts. He loves spaghetti. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, there's lots of foods that Porter loves. He will at least try what I put in his plate, unlike his picky brother, who will just say that's yuck. Picky at least, brother. 
at least Porter will try. He's not crazy about um, desserts. Like he'll eat the little mini donuts that my mom will get him, but like cake, he's not crazy about. Ice cream, he's not that crazy about. Like he just is meh. The only time he really wants ice cream is when his brother wants it, um, which is very much like my husband. My husband doesn't like a lot of desserts, and so I think he just got a little bit of that from Anthony. But interestingly enough, my oldest, Grayson, he only likes milk or water. He doesn't like any kind of juice, pop, like nothing. He just wants milk or water. While Porter absolutely loves milk, loves milk, and he likes water, he will also drink like any flavor drink as well. I'll get pink lemonade and he loves pink lemonade. Um, he'll try any drink and usually he likes it. So it's a change from my oldest. Porter is obsessed with tractors. For his two year old birthday, we did a tractor themed birthday party and he just loves them. Anything that's like semi shaped like a tractor, he loves. He calls um, ride on lawnmowers tractors, which Side note, he absolutely loves lawnmowers. He loves watching his dad mow the lawn. He has a little kid lawnmower that he'll push right next to Anthony when he's mowing. Um, but yes, he's obsessed with tractors. I don't know why. He loves cars too. Like he has a bunch of cars, like just mini cars. Oh, thank you. And he will just play with the cars. He'll like move them and take them on the track and he'll like run them along my legs or he will line them all up, which is so fun to see because my oldest Grayson was never into like cars or anything like that. So it's fun to see my kids' differences. Porter loves playing with cars, loves playing with like pretend animals and more into the figurines than my oldest was. Porter is definitely my shy one. He is, well, I don't know. I guess it just kind of depends. Like, if we go to a new situation, he's not one to just like jump right in and just like do something new, like my oldest is. Um, he's much more timid, wants to hold on to mom until he gets comfortable and then he's okay to go off and play. When he goes to preschool next year, it'll be very interesting to see how he does because Wow! Because he's very attached to me, much more attached than my oldest ever was. And so I'm worried about how that separation is gonna go next year when he goes to school. So we'll see. He's very attached to me and very attached to his dad. Loves being next to us, loves giving us hugs, giving us cuddles. Very much more like affectionate than my Oh, then my oldest, yeah, he, he loves, we call him Bugaboo, that's one of his nicknames, and, and he'll just say Bugaboo, and then he'll give us hugs, huh. But um, Porter also has, um, has moments of being outgoing too. Um, like, we'll be on a walk and random strangers will just pass us and he'll just be like, hi. Or I'll get something at the store and the Let person the will ring me out and I'll say, thank you. And Porter will say, thank you, you're welcome. Or like, we went uh, trick-or-treating a couple weeks ago and every time he got candy um, from a house, he would say, thank you, you're welcome. And he was not scared to like run up to the house and get candy. So I don't know, he kind of surprises me sometimes with his shyness and then his outgoing. I guess maybe he's a mix. I definitely think he's more like me than my oldest is. My oldest is more like my husband and my youngest is more like me because I'm more timid, shy, slow to warm up to things. Like that's very much Porter. Porter hates going down to bed. He hates going down to nap time, he hates going down to bed, which is a total change for my oldest because my oldest was always like, okay, time for bed and would just go willingly. And um, Porter is not like that. And he's funny, he's very particular. So when I put him down for naps or bedtime, everything has to be off the floor. It has to be clean. Um, his fan has to be on, his closet door has to be closed. It's very funny, he's very particular. Like my oldest son, like his room is just a mess constantly but Porter has to have his room like clean all the time or he won't sleep it's kind of funny how he's so particular about that Porter loves animals he's always loved animals he loves our cat Felix 
um, even though Felix just runs from him. He loves dogs, although he can also be very saucy with the dogs. Some, like my parents' dog, he absolutely loves and like will give her hugs and pets and cuddles, but my sister's dogs, they're uh, bigger than him, and so I think he likes to try to like boss them around and he'll like be like, no, or he'll be like, no dog, no, or just different things like that. So that's really kind of funny how he's particular on his animals, I guess. But he loves um, the farm, loves singing Old MacDonald, like very much into animals. Porter loves watching shows on the TV. Um, he'll watch nursery rhymes. He likes watching like there's these Play-Doh stop animation videos on YouTube that he absolutely loves. He loves playing with Play-Doh, even though he tries to eat it most of the time, he does love Play-Doh, loves playing with it, loves making different creations with it. He loves helping me cook and bake. He's my little helper. Um, he'll sit up on the counter with me and he'll help me make muffins. He loves making muffins or he'll help me make banana bread or just different stuff. He loves baking. He's not so into eating it afterwards, but he loves helping bake and helping me put the ingredients in the bowl, which is really cute. <coughs> Porter is talking a ton. Um, he says all sorts of words all the time. Can you count to 10? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! Good job. And can you sing ABCs? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, K, M, V, W, T, P, W, S, T, U, B, W, S, Y, N, T. Now I know my name is his. Now try to do okay with me. Yay! Good job! So yeah, he's very good at counting letters. He's getting there with letter recognition. He recognizes most um, numbers, most letters. Um, Again, Mama. Okay, can you sing Jack B. Nimble? Jack B. Nimble, yeah, begin. Yeah, no, put it together. Yay! Again. Jack B. Nimble is his favorite song right now. He is obsessed with it. He makes me sing it all the time. We substitute the name Jack with everybody's name that he knows. Um, and yeah, he loves that. But back to uh, his letter. He knows his letters. He knows his numbers. Again, he also knows Mama. His Let's see if we can figure out his colors. Here, Porter, what color is that? Blue. Blue. What color is that? Orange. Orange. What color is that? Green. Tata. Green. So yeah, he he knows his um, colors really well. Yeah. He has uh, two Mommy books me memorized like right now. He knows Moo Ba, La La La. And he knows, but not the hippopotamus. Those are both Sandra Boynton books. <laughs> and uh, he loves those books. I don't, I don't think he's recognizing words like Grayson was, no, no, um, but he's no. pretty smart. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if no. he starts picking up words like Grayson did, because by the time Grayson was three, he was starting to read books. And so I'll be interested to see if Porter is like that as well, or if he's just different. Whoa. Porter loves following his big brother around. He wants to do everything big brother does. Um, he's getting a little more sassy. Okay, sorry, Porter is getting into the camera. Porter, no, I'm gonna have to hold it because he's just constantly no, no, touching. No, no, no. The camera! Oh my goodness. So, um, yes, he's getting a little more saucy with his brother. He actually, like, tells Grayson certain things he wants. 
We'll take toys from Grayson. So they'll fight a little bit more. When he was younger, he was more like go with the flow. Now he's more like, I know what I want and I'm gonna get what I want. So it's um, interesting to see their dynamic change as Porter gets more of a personality. He's not so crazy into puzzles like Grayson was. Um, we have puzzles in his room and he just doesn't play with them that much. He likes to read books. Um, but usually only when it's to stave off like going to bed. <laughs> he doesn't really like actively seek them out like Grayson did. And Grayson was much more, like my oldest was much more, he wanted me to repeat him. Everything he said I had to repeat him. And he wanted me to read the same book like over and over and over again. And Porter is not like that. Porter, um, does not make me repeat him, which is nice. And he usually doesn't care too much like what book we read. So just differences here and there. Um, I know I keep bringing up my older son Grayson, but I love just comparing them to. Of course, each of them is unique and individual, but it is interesting to see. Porter will become a big brother in March, April time, uh, cause we're gonna have another baby. So it'll be interesting to see how, he's, how he steps into that big brother role. I think he'll be very much like how Grayson was when I brought Porter home, which he was just like indifferent towards Porter until Porter like could start crawling and then he actually like cared <laughs> so I think that'll be very similar um, to how Porter is with this new baby but it'll be interesting to see Porter's definitely starting to test um, boundaries test limits he will try to get away with certain things and we've had to start implementing timeout and he's actually pretty good with timeout. He'll do it and then I'll ask him afterwards like, okay, why did you go to timeout? And he will tell me you, most like 90% of the time why he went to timeout. So it's pretty good. He loves helping me clean. He's really just like a little helper. He's obsessed with his dad and helping him work in the office. He loves sitting on Anthony's lap and helping him work by like typing. Um, he just follows him everywhere. He is definitely a daddy's boy, which is fun to see. Like I said before, Porter is very attached. Um, I have to sneak out when I like have babysitters come and watch him because if he sees me leave, he'll cry for a good five, 10 minutes after I leave. Gray wasn't too much like that. He, even now he's like, whatever bye but Porter is very attached he does not like me leaving which could be like the pandemic thing like he hasn't gone out very much and I stay at home with him so I'm home with him 24 7 and so he's just always with me so that could be as well too Porter loves to jump he loves to run uh, he loves to climb he loves to go down slides. He's very active, very crazy boy. Um, keeps me on my toes. We'll get in trouble if I don't watch him. To the camera, I say, look at my tractor. What my my tractor? Yeah, show it over here. Show it in the camera. What my my tractor? tractor he wants to show you all. We have lots of tractors at our house because this little boy loves tractors. He's also very sweet. Like I said, he's very cuddly. He loves giving hugs. Um, if somebody gets hurt, he runs over to them and will like get this serious look on his face and be like, you need Band-Aid. So he's very sweet, very caring. Um, will like get food for his brother and bring it to his brother. So he's thoughtful, but definitely has like those twos of like, I don't want to listen to you, I want to do what I want to do. So anyway, I think that's going to be it uh, for Porter's two-year-old update. I guess he was in and out of the video. He, he just found Elmo, so now he's happy. But thanks so much for tuning in. Um, this is Porter at two. He is so fun to be around. He keeps me laughing every day uh, with his sassiness and his two-year-old mannerisms and um, his sweetness. So anyway, I'm going to close out this vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Porter, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Say bye. Say bye. love you. Love you.